All right. Do it, Lindsay. Um, this next section, formulas and functions, just to show you quick. We, you, we just actually got done doing this in eighth grade, so you did this last year. Um, solving for a certain letter. Here's a simple one. 2x plus y equals 10. When they say solve for y, all that means, anyone remember what that means to do? Get y by itself. Anytime they tell you to sell, solve for a letter, that means get that letter by itself. So you use the rules for solving equations, it's just you, a lot of times you can't combine anything. So to get this y by itself, what do you got to get rid of? The 2x. So this is where it's easier to think of it in this terms. Anything not hooked to that letter, gets, you get rid of that first. If anything's hooked to the letter, that's the thing you get rid of last. So all I gotta do is get this out of there over here. So remember this, you can move any term across the equal sign. What happens to it when it crosses the equal? Changes. Changes signs. So all that happens is the Y stays here, the 10 stays there. I didn't move them so they don't change anything. This changes from a plus 2X to a minus 2X and you're done. That's all there is to it. Now, sometimes they have a little more to it. That was just one step. Okay, this one, you'd have to do two things. Again, this is attached to the Y, so that's going to leave last. Anything not attached, you move first. So this is going to stay where it's at. This is going to stay where it's at. This changes to a minus 2X. Now you have one more thing you can do. Divide by negative 2? Divide by negative 2. And you're done. Y equals 10 minus 2X divided by negative 2. Now, sometimes they tell you to simplify it as far as you can. If they don't tell you that, you can quit right there. Because the whole idea is just to solve for Y. But, if you do have to simplify it, all you do is you look at this too. We had these on the last test. What is 10 divided by negative 2? And what's negative 2x divided by negative 2? Positive 1x, which you could just write as x. These two mean the same exact thing. It's just this is simplified and this is not. Most of the time they don't tell us to simplify, so you can just leave it like that. Okay? Now one other thing they add to the directions. A lot of times, if you don't know what they're asking for, it's hard to do. If you know what they're asking, it's easy. When they say solve for y, that means get the y by itself. And sometimes they add this. In terms of x. All that means, it means the same exact thing. They're just telling you that you're going to get the Y by itself on one side and the X on the other side. So when they say in terms of something, that just means that's the other letters. Okay? So like this formula here, area is length times width. Find a formula for W in terms of A and L. So do you know what that means to do? Get what by itself? get W by itself. And all they're saying that is the other two letters on the other side are going to be A and L. Okay? So this is a simple one. What do we got to do to get W by itself? Move L over. Divide by L. And you're done. Remember, um, if it's hooked to it, you're either going to have to multiply or divide to get rid of it. If it's separate, then you just move it across. Have you guys done this uh, in science yet? Mm. Converting Celsius to Fahrenheit? No. What this, this formula does is say it's 20 degrees Celsius. Any idea what that is in Fahrenheit? Uh, if you took a guess? 56. Okay, good guess. All you got to do is use this formula. You put 20 in right there. So Fahrenheit equals 9 fifths times 20 plus 32.
That's how you convert Celsius into Fahrenheit. So you could use a calculator, 9 divided by 5 times 20. This does cross cancel nice, so that'd be 36 plus 32 is 68. Oh, Carly, you were close. Actually, wasn't. You said 56. Yeah. Wasn't too bad. Yeah. Parker. Now, it's a whole dozen. You don't need to know this for math class, but this is an easy way to uh, do this in real life. Nine-fifths is close to what number? No, one. Two. Nine-fifths is almost two, right? So a shortcut is if you double the Celsius and add 32. So if it's uh, 50 degrees Celsius, double it and add 32. That's 132 Fahrenheit. Okay. So, what they want you to do here is solve for C. So, what do you got? We got to get rid of the 9 fifths and the 32. Which one do you move first? 9 fifths. Anything not attached to it is what you move first. Since it's not attached, you just move it over and it changes signs. So, the F, I didn't move, that stays there. I moved the plus 32 over, it changes to minus 32 equals 9 fifths C. Anything now, what's the best way to get rid of a fraction times a letter? Take a times reciprocal. So, now this is where you got to remember this part. You can't just go like this. Because I took this whole side times 5 ninths. If I write it this way, I'm not taking the whole side times 5 ninths. What do you got to do to show that you're taking the whole thing to? You got to put this side in parentheses. Okay? So, whatever you do to this side, you got to do to this whole side. So, if there's more than one thing here, you got to put them in parentheses. So, it's 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32 equals Celsius. So, what this does is this converts if we had 90 degrees Fahrenheit. We could convert this to Celsius by plugging this in there. 90 minus 32. And then take that times 5 ninths. So you just go times 5 divided by 9 is 32.2 repeating Celsius. Okay? <coughs> so. Solving formulas for a letter, you want to get this L by itself. So you get rid of the 2 first or the 2W? Two 2W two two because it's not attached. You just move it over. The P is already there. This changes to minus 2W equals 2L. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide the whole thing by 2 and you're done. Okay? Now just to show you, we won't be simplifying today, that I don't think any of them are today, but eventually you'll have to. If they told you to simplify this, can you simplify P over 2? Uh, no. Nothing cancels, right? <coughs> How about negative 2W over 2? Yes. The 2's cancel, leaving you with just minus W. So there's the simplify. Either one of these is correct. You don't have to. Simple one here, everyone better be able to do this one. What do you do to get the uh, W by itself? Divide by LH. They're all multiplied together, so that would cancel, that would cancel, and you're done. LH. V over LH equals W. Another simple one to solve for R. They're all multiplied, divide by 2 pi, and you're done. 2 pi. Okay, yeah, distance formula they use a lot. Distance is rate times time. Solve for R. In order to get R by itself, you just have to divide by T. So distance divided by time is rate. Now, solve this formula for, or use the formula to find the speed of a car that takes eight hours. So where does the eight go in this formula? Time. To drive 400 miles, so that's rate. 
So 400 divided by 8 is 50. And then now what would you label this since it's a rate? Yeah, it is rate, but what, what's rate? Look at what the problem said. Hours per mile? Miles per hour. Hours per mile. Because it's 400 miles in 8 hours. Yeah, Remember, rate is always like feet per second, miles per minute, yards per second, whatever. Okay, now we get to the ones like I showed you at the beginning. Rewrite the equation so y is a function of x. This is another way that they write it that makes it look complicated. All that means is get the first letter by itself when you see that. If they switched it around, if they said so that x is a function of y, then which letter do you got to get by itself? Uh, x. X. Whatever comes first, that's the one you get by itself. So, here's a simple one step to get the y by itself. All I got to do is get this out of here. y stays the same. 11 stays the same. This changes to that. Okay. This should be pretty easy, I hope, right? Yes. Uh, no. Here, to get the Y by itself, I got to get this out of there. It's not attached to it, so you just move it. The 15 stays there. This would change to minus 2X. And now this is where some people get wrong. Negative y. It's negative Y. So if the letter is negative, what do you do to everything? Change, change all the signs. Negative 15 plus 2X equals Y. Now, this can be written differently. You could write it as y equals 2x minus 15. The y is still positive, the 15 is still negative, the 2x is still positive. Okay? So it doesn't matter what order you put those in, as long as you keep the sign in front of it. Same thing here, I just got to move the 9 over. So these two stay the same. This changes to minus 9. Again, all you got to do is change all the signs. Now, I just want to show you one where there's a fraction. Okay. To solve for y, first you move any term not attached to it. So this would stay the same, this would stay the same, this would change to minus 2x. Now, what do you got to do to get rid of the one third? Divide by one. You could divide by third, but better yet, multiply by the reciprocal, 3 over 1. Okay? Because then it cancels. So, 3 over 1 is just 3, which means we take the other side times 3. How do I write that if I'm going to take the other side? Put this in parentheses and then times 3. Okay? You don't have to, no. You can, but you don't have to. Parker, fix your hair. Okay? So this one. To get the y by itself, move the 5x over, so this would stay the same, this would stay the same, this would change to minus 5x. So again, it's negative 2 fifths times y. So times by negative 5. Take it times negative 5 abs. So since there's two things over here, you got to put that in parentheses. Would it be negative 5 then? And you take it times negative 5 halves. That's all you got to do. You could do it like this. Um, okay. It would work since it's times. You could divide by negative 2 fifths. It wouldn't be wrong. It's just usually they don't want a fraction within a fraction. This is exactly the same thing as... So 
Because dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, right? So these are the same exact answer. It's just this one is more recommended because they don't usually want fractions within a fraction. But, again, this is still correct because the y is by itself.